Welcome to Foxtech. If you want to download anything from the App Store on your iPhone, there are a few things you need to set up first. Let's go through the steps to make sure you can install any app, game, or content without issues. First, make sure you're signed in with your Apple ID. Without an Apple ID, you won't be able to download anything from the App Store. So if you haven't signed in yet, go to Settings, tap your name at the top, and sign in or create an account. Once that's done, Wi-Fi or cellular network is stable. Um, a slow or unstable connection can interrupt downloads, so it's always a good idea to make sure you're connected properly before trying to install anything. Now open the App Store and use the search bar to find the app or content you want. Once you find it, tap the download button. This will either look like a cloud icon if you've downloaded the app before, or a get button if it's free. If it's a paid app, you'll see the price instead. At this point, you might be asked to sign in with your Apple ID, or you can use Face ID or Touch ID to confirm the download. If Face ID or Touch ID is enabled, the process is much quicker because it skips the need to type in your Apple ID password manually. Once the app starts downloading, wait for it to install. You'll see a loading icon appear on your home screen or in the app library. When the installation is complete, I just tap the icon to open the app and start using it. If you're looking for apps that aren't available in your country's app store, you may need to switch your app store location. To do this, open the app store, tap on your profile icon, then go to your account settings. Inside, you'll find the country and region section where you can change your store location if needed. Keep in mind that switching countries might require a valid payment method for that region, so be sure to check the details before making changes. That's it. Now you know how to download anything from the App Store on your iPhone. If this helped, let me know in the comments. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Foxtech for more iPhone tips. Thanks for watching and see you later.